and welcome back to the channel everybody how are you guys doing today thank you for tuning back into yet another video so I got something super cool for you guys today mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you a bunch of chase pieces that are not Hot Wheels I do have some Hot Wheels stuff to show I think one piece I'm gonna actually show today so we'll show that first I'm gonna show you this super cool vintage uh, Mustang I'm pretty sure it is if I remember right very cool this isn't an original, obviously. It's a 1993 copyright. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new lighting. I got a little bit of a different setup. Take that off. It gets a little bit brighter. Multicolored tier type of thing I'm going to put my cars on. So maybe if we take off layers, it'll make it a little bit brighter. I like how it looks, so there you go. We might be unboxing that one. I don't know just yet. card's not terrible. It's got that on the end of it, and that's really about it. It's got some weathering to it, like it was in a smoker's house or something, but nothing too bad. So I'm going to show you three chases right now. These I would definitely part with, so if you're a Micro Machines collector, if these will be for you. Um, this one's slightly bent. As you see, it could easily be bent back. But here we have... These are new Micro Machines also, if you don't know. They're doing chase pieces, as you see right there. Chase and Ultra Rare, I believe it says. Yep, Ultra Rare. And this one is a regular chase with the silver bus right there. Kind of cool. These are like five bucks in store. I think that's what I paid for it. Yeah, right there. Had like a five below store or something. I've had this one for quite a while. I'm just not a mat or, um, micro machines person. I have the original micro machines, but these are cool. So this next one is a service station. And I've got the chase of this one as well. The middle car there being the chase piece. Try to show that best I can. There we go. So these, I mean, these are 10 bucks in store. So with them being a chase, I mean, this one's got a little bit of a bend in the side of the card there. I don't know too many people that collect them, so not really anybody for that matter. And here's a cool muscle car one. I know everybody would probably like this one. With the chase piece in the middle. So that's very cool. There's three Micro Machine sets. And this one actually shows a third chase called a treasure. Very cool. So it looks like the chase car is actually a fantasy car. The rest are real. But hey, if you're into those, let me know. I don't know what anybody want to trade for them. But on to some green lights now. We're going to have six green light chases here. First one, the A-Team van with the green instead of the red. I'm trying to show that best I can. There we go. You can see the green on the wheels. There's a lot of reflection, but that's to be expected. So, Green Machine. This is like 50 bucks on eBay. I've been watching it for quite a while on eBay for 50 bucks. So, that's just the high end, I'm assuming. Um, you know, it's, it's in questionable shape. There's a little bit of a weirdness to the blister right there. The box, whatever you want to call this particular one. So, if anybody wants it, let me know. And now this next one is going to be an entire set. This is the Hot Pursuit Series 2. And these are all green machines. You can see the rims real shiny right there. There you go. This one's the Monaco. Dodge Monaco. Really cool cars. I tried to keep the best shape of these as I could. This next one's a newer cop car. You can see the green on the rim right there again. Green machine. Not very exciting green machines, but still chases. Um, this one is a Crown Victoria. Very cool. And the next one is a Coronet. So this is the whole series. And every car from that series is the chase piece. So don't know how I got lucky with that, but very cool to have those. And now the next two I probably don't want to part with. These are not going to be for trade. We have Bigfoot. That's a cool one right there. And it's the Green Machine. This one I paid like 30 something dollars for. Probably too much money. But um, it's a hobby exclusive. And it's a chase piece. So a little bit more expensive on that one. And this one was the first Green Machine I ever found. I found it at the same time as the ATM van. Got a Chevy 3500. Let's see if you can. It doesn't even look like it's green on camera there. But I assure you it is. There you go. You can kind of make it out. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I won't part with that one just because it's the very first one I found. So bam. There you go. So like I said, these four um, 
the 18 van and the hot pursuit cars I would definitely part with um, I don't know what anybody would want to part with you know to, to trade for these but these are 25 bucks a piece in store value so the fact that they are chase pieces they're gonna be a little bit more um, I'm gonna put my email and my info on my channel so people can hit me up if they have any trade offers or whatever so I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and for the mat or the micro machine stuff I keep wanting to say the matchbox for some reason for the micro machines I mean I know they're not that pricey I mean I can give you all of them for something you know we'll go from there obviously I'm interested in supers but who wants to trade a super for micro machines let's be honest so now last thing in this video before I wrap it up I wanted to make a video for you guys today we have the piece of question meaning should I open it? Should I not open it? What do you guys think? Johnny Lightning, stock car. Look how big this freaking car card is. Let me compare this really quick. What car can I grab? The Miata. Okay, the Miata. Look how ginormous this card is compared to a Hot Wheel car. This thing is huge. Someone's car alarm is going off. Hopefully that's not ours. I don't think so. Now that it's stopped. So, should I open this thing or not? I mean, the bottom is not that good. And look at this. I've been trying to bend it back, but it's not going anywhere. So, I don't really know what to do with it. It's a Rusty Wallace, number 88 Gatorade car. Um, Pontiac Grand Prix. Very cool looking car. I'd love to have it out. But, I don't know. Should I open that? Should I not? Never seen anything like it. So, here's the back if you guys are interested in that. And it's part of the Real Wheels series. Playing Mantis era Johnny Lightning. So very good quality for sure. So that'll wrap it up you guys. I wanted to show you some chase pieces and a little car in question. Plus that little vintage Hot Wheel car at the beginning. I guess that could be another one. Should I open that one or no? That's up to me ultimately. But what would you guys do with it? Would you open it up? It's pretty cool. But hey, I don't know. So stay safe out there. Keep on collecting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. If you really enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Press the notification bell. You won't miss out on cool stuff when I find it like that. Or just show it here in the display room. So I'm out of here, you guys. Keep on collecting. Stay safe. And good luck out there. And what's going on, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. I got a quick announcement to make. I'm actually quite surprised about it. I was under the impression you had to be at a thousand subscribers to do live streaming on your phone and I just went to try it because I'm sitting here in a parking lot doing nothing and uh, it told me that I need to wait 24 hours to allow access to live stream so we might be able to do live stream soon who's going to be down for that sitting around showing off some cars opening some cars just talking with you guys the awesome Northeast Ohio diecast and treasure family you guys are awesome and I really hope I can do this I'm only I'm almost to 800 subs. I might actually be by the time this goes up. So thank you guys for that. You're awesome. You rock as always. Let's keep it going. Road to 1K. And uh, when we get there, we will for sure be able to do live streams. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I got to wait 24 hours. Um, they might let me do it. I'm assuming if I was, I had to click the thing to allow access, I was given that little option that I must be able to. So. Let's see, 24 hours, around, I don't even know what time it is, 2 o'clock, 2.30 almost, uh, tomorrow, we'll see if we can do it, so, stay safe, keep on collecting, a little bit of an update, let me know how you guys are doing, and uh, if you think it's going to work, or if I have to wait till 1K, thank you guys, stay safe, once again, I'm out of here.